Anna. Hi. It's quite rare to hear that AXN produce a new show, an original show. So where does Epicenter come from? Oh, uh, well, Epicenter is a Sony uh, spawned child and uh, it came from a girl named Gaia. Uh, Viola, I think is her last name. It was her uh, brainchild. And then uh, it came through the normal channels of development uh, through the Sony network. And what attracted you to this project? I, I got to read a few of the scripts. Uh, and I loved and responded to a very strong female character, uh, a survivor above and beyond all. And then underneath that, she was a character who was a mother. She was a, a lover a sister, a daughter, so many things that I thought uh, this is going to be an extraordinary experience. Have you seen, you know, the previous show from the director, False Flag? Of course, yes, and doing research I would go and take a look at um, everyone's former work. And um, how would you describe Absentia? Because it has this homeland vibe with the plots and really complicated plot, actually. Yes, uh, it is complicated, uh, but it's a thriller, it's a suspense drama. Um, I think audiences are going to love this character. They're uh, going to hate her. They're <laughs> going to fear her and they're going to root for her, uh, all while following her and her family's search for the truth. We only seen the first episode, unfortunately. Um, will, we, will there be some flashbacks and fast forward? Well, not flash forward, but prison and flashbacks? Yes, and you have kind of an idea of it in the first episode without giving too much of it away. Are you satisfied with the ending of this season? God willing, you know? <laughs> I think only the audience's reaction will tell. It's planned to be a story that has a very satisfying end to this mystery, mm -hmm. but it also hooks us into another mystery for a following season. What makes a strong female character, in your opinion? Well, a strong female lead is a character that is three-dimensional, that has uh, complexities and perhaps isn't perfect, uh, isn't one-dimensional. This character, like I said, the audience will take a bit of a ride following her, and they will with all of the characters on our show, which was another thing that drew me to the story, was that every single character on this show is at some point a mystery to the audience, and every single character has an arc that they uh, resolve by the end of this episode of this season. You filmed in Bulgaria yes. and you have a, an international cast. Yes. How is it different from shooting in the States? Uh, well, you know, most of our crew shot the 300 movies. They also shot The Expendables. Oh, okay. Uh, so they were an extraordinary crew and um, their sort of way of handling a set was very familiar to me because they had that experience. On top of it, the crew um, really enjoys telling a great story and so they were very invested in giving it their best. Uh, and then as far as telling stories with an international cast, it was extraordinary because there is so much flavor to uh, the story that each actor brought. We had amazing guest stars coming in for two, three days from, uh, from England and from abroad, from even further uh, away. And they were just 100% in. And it was really wonderful to be able to work with these people and uh, explore some of their talents. There's a question I like to ask all my female guests. Okay. Um, what would you say to your 18-year-old self? I would say enjoy, you know? It's effortless, it's really lovely. And uh, enjoy every single second of it. The ups, the downs, the turnarounds, everything. Uh, it's all a part of a really beautiful growth process. What kind of teenager were you? I was a bit of a nerd, truly. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was a bit of a dork. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.